Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 243. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 233 to 245. Hey, we have some test scores here. We want to do a little analyzing. We want to figure out what the typical value is. Typical value is uh, another phrase for average, right? When we have an average, and there are different types of averages, it's a typical value. It means that we have one value we can use to talk about all of the data points, all right? Here's some names, here's some scores. But if we're talking about these scores, how did people do on average? What is the typical value? Uh, we come up with that um, average, and that'll give us one number that allows us to talk about all of them. First, I would like to... Um, Control B there and add some bold because those are the field names. I want to convert this to a table. Control L in 2003 or earlier versions or Control T in uh, 2007. So there we have uh, our values and with field names at the top. Now I'd like to do uh, some averages. Hey, this is jumping all over the place. Now, um, there are different types of averages. What about mean? Oh, that is so mean. Mean is when you add up all the values and divide by the count. Well, in Excel, you go equals average. I'm going to click in the top cell and control shift down arrow. And then hit, th that's a keyboard shortcut to go from that top cell and highlight all the way down, control shift and down arrow. And then I'm going to hit the F4 key, which locks it. It also is nice because it jumps the uh, formula back onto the screen. Now I'm going to copy this because we're going to use this over and over. So there it is, uh, 41. Hey, that's, that's pretty good. Now uh, there's other types of averages. Uh, how about median? If I even spelled it right, equals median. Oh, median, and I'm going to control V because I highlighted that uh, range already. Median is another type of average. It doesn't add them all up and divide by the count. It just finds the one in the middle. Median is great for real estate uh, because th then you don't have the huge expensive house dragging the average, the, the mean, up. Ooh, the one in the middle. Wow, 46. That's amazing. So that means when you uh, arrange these from uh, biggest to largest, which is easy to do when you have a, a list, you can click the drop down and say, how about sort A to Z? So look at that. The one in the middle was like 46.05. Oh, that's because there's a lot of 46.05s. A lot of uh, a couple zeros, too. Now, uh, what about the mode? Equals mode. Mode, and I'm going to control V. I'm actually going to move this, and I'm going to type M-O-D-E. The mode, the one that occurred most frequently is 48.68, 48.68. So somewhere down here, oh, there it is. Look at that, a lot of them. So uh, there's the mean, median mode, and uh, they're not all the same, so the distribution of this uh, is not a uh, bell-shaped curve. Uh, one other thing that'll be uh, nice to see is um, how reliable is this mean right here? How good is our average? We use standard deviation for that. And it tells you how spread out the data points are. It also tells you uh, what your average deviation is. It's the spread in the data, and it tells you how reliable your mean is. Meaning, if there's lots of spread in the data, then maybe this one typical value doesn't represent all the data points that fairly. Let's go ahead and calculate it. This is a uh, population, S-T-D-E-V-P. we got to use the P one, because we have a population. These are all the values. And I'm going to control V. Uh, I guess I'm not going to. I'm going to click right there. Control shift down arrow and then hit F4. Oh, so there's there's a lot. That's a big spread, 11 points. So uh, here's the mean. 11 points above and below gives us like a 68% of the values. Uh, we could also plot this. Um, I'm going to click somewhere here and control uh 
well, actually, we need to come up with some uh, categories here. And since this is uh, a test that goes from 0 to 50 points, uh, let's just do some categories like uh, 0 to 10. So we'll do 0, 10 equals uh, this one equals this one plus 10. And then I'm going to copy it down. And then I'm going to create some little labels here equals this one ampersand in quotes up to end double uh, end double quote ampersand this one and then I'll double click and send this down and then I want to uh, count um, there's a bunch of different formulas you can use uh, I'm going to use the sum products formula which is uh, uh, one of many equals sum product and oh, we are counting, so we have two sets of criteria. It's got to be equal to, greater than or equal to 0, but less than 10. So I'm going to get that range over there. I have to go get that range again. Click there, Control Shift Down L, F4. I'm going to copy that. And we're going to ask, is that any of the values in that range greater than or equal to 0? I can't get that 0, so I'm going to click there and use my arrow key. Um, and that's a relative cell reference, so we're going to leave that there. Now, I actually need to put uh, parentheses around this. This will give us a bunch of trues and falses. If you uh, highlight that and hit your F9 key, you'll, get, you'll see that it gives us a bunch of trues and falses. True, 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 true. Okay, so they're all, that's all true. You're right. They're all greater than or equal to zero. Control Z. That F9 trick is great to see how the formula is working, but don't leave it like that. Control Z, undo it. And uh, we're going to multiply those series of trues and falses by another series of trues and falses, except for this is going to be less than 10. Uh, that we're missing the equal here. Because on the lower end of the class, it can be greater than or equal to. Uh, and on the upper end, it's less than 10. Close parentheses. And I'm going to close parentheses. Now, you could see that this gives us a bunch of trues and falses if you highlight all this and hit F9. False, 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 false. Ooh. Control Z. Don't leave that there. When you multiply true a bunch of trues and falses by a bunch of trues and falses, only where, where it's true here and true here will it come out 1. And then the sum product will add them. I'm then going to Control Enter and then click and drag it down. Wow, look at that. Between 40 up to uh, 50. Actually, that won't work. We're going to have to change this one last formula because we don't. We want to include, so this last class is going to be slightly different. Actually, we should just go like this. That way, uh, and so there were six 50s. We'll do it that way. Now, um, once we have this, and there's, there's other types of formulas, we could do uh, this formula right here. So you could also do a, a formula like that one, and then uh, copy it down. Now we have our data. Now we can plot this. Here's some labels, and here's some values. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt F1, Alt F1. And sure enough, there is a little uh, chart. You can see most of them are right in there. I'm going to click on this and use the keyboard shortcut for delete, delete. And then I'm going to right click the uh, column and say, format data series. The gap width, I'm going to say, is 0. Why? Oh, these are classes. These are actual classes that are touching, right? Um, if they are categories um, that are not touching, then you could have your simple uh, column. But this is a column with no spaces, because there aren't any spaces between here and here. Um, and then you could go on and uh, finish this uh, chart. Um, the, the main thing we need to do is add uh, some labels, axis, uh, vertical. And I'm going to call this, just type, this is frequency, enter. And then I'm going to go up to layout and axis, horizontal, below. And this one I'm going to type uh, classes, classes. Uh, scores for first test, uh, and then enter. Uh, we could uh, include uh, numbers at the top if we go up to layout, 
data labels and then more. And then we could say, uh, how about outside end? And you can see they're already appearing there. You could actually highlight these and then control one to format. How about fill? And I'm going to say vary colors by point. And uh, so there we go. Uh, th that's how test one went. Um, OK, we'll see you next trick, a little uh, data analysis on the points. Oh, but you know, we left out one very important thing. What are all these little dashes? Well, you know, those mean that uh, that test the test wasn't taken, right? And those dashes are not included here. But what if they actually were all zeros? You better then convert them meaning you'd highlight all these type of zero and control enter. Now watch how dramatically uh, are the numbers would change, right? Okay, charts over here, most, most people got all those zeros. Okay, so uh, those functions were not looking at those little dashes. If they were supposed to be zeros, you got to put those zeros in. I'm going to control Z because those were dashes. That means you didn't take the test. All right, we'll see you next trick.